hello guys welcome to the thursday forecast and let's get started with looking at the market first starting with the euro us dollar uh it is a range bound stuck in a flat range not showing me anything breaking the highs retracing breaking the lows retracing leaving huge wicks to the upside leaving huge wicks to the downside so what i'm looking for is i'm looking for a large momentum up or a large momentum down and what I'm being careful of is the liquidity areas. So below the range, because this is a clear range, so below and above the range, we need to see what happens. People do keep their stops in these ranges. So do we just break and retrace or do we actually break and get some nice conviction and some nice momentum? I'm also seeing if maybe we get an ascending or a descending. So an ascending into the upper liquidity area reversal or a descending structure like this and then a reversal to the upside like this so that's about it for the euro and the us dollar for the euro and the japanese yen so i was in a trade right here let me put the risk to reward tool and i unfortunately i was stopped out of the trade so what i was seeing it was a re really really good trade really high probability what I was seeing, I was seeing a momentum up. So first I wanted to get in at this point, but I didn't get tagged in by the spread. So unfortunately, um, as I said, I, I wasn't taken in. And then price started trending up. We got the pullback, continued up. And then, so I saw this one candle pullback. We continued up and then placed a pending order with a clean close here. So this was really, really high probability to candle break clean close market is trending no brainer trade textbook trade got tagged in tagged out by the by I, I think one or two pips but yeah it happens what what you gonna do it's a part of trading so taking a loss then we got a huge wick a flag did form I, I was not looking for a flag because I wasn't seeing enough of a range also maybe some people got in a break and retest right here for me personally it did not fit my plan because i was already taken out here maybe if i didn't take this trade out i would have been in here but then it, it would also be a one percent loss as far as i can tell yes most probably it would be a one percent loss so i was not looking for any trade since i got stopped out earlier but it was also a good trade this one because we did have a range and we did descend into our entry area so for me it does fit my plan but as i said because of the circumstances circumstances i didn't take it currently i'm waiting for this to break the high continue with the overall uptrend if it does i'll look for a flag or i'll look for a break and retest i'll look for a similar scenario as we got here this was very very good this was a textbook textbook scenario also do see if we get an ascending and then we reverse then no not to buy but to sell if we go down i'm looking for a downtrend but i would be a bit more patient in that case of course do be careful about the liquidity areas so below and above we have liquidity areas do see if we just break and retrace into them or do we actually break and get some nice momentum continue get that nice continuation to the upside or to the downside that's about it for ej really disappointed about this trade that it didn't tag me in but what you're gonna do it happens and now let's switch over to the aussies aussie us dollar i was also in a trade also <laughs> another loss unfortunately but i did like the trade um now that i think about it maybe it was more of an average trade not really high probability so right here i saw that we had a large push down really really large push down got a one candle pullback continued down two candle continuation and then we got an okay close not uh, only a small wick on the bottom so i was happy to take the trade because i saw this large momentum prior now a warning sign should have been that we just broke left the wick broke again just filled barely barely f filled the wick and then closed uh like this so we didn't even fill the wick fully 
so that should have been a warning sign that the market is not ready to go down that the momentum down is maybe exhausted but um, for me personally I liked the prior momentum and on the Aussie US dollar I am uh, really aggressive with my entries so I was happy to take the trade ended up being a loss again it happens uh, but it's it's tough to watch I'm not gonna lie especially after that EJ trade uh two, two trades actually that were very 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 close to either tagging me in or not taking me out um so yeah on this pair i'm seeing kind of a descending but then again we broke the high retrace got a huge wick so we're just kind of stuck in a range to be honest stuck in a range here we broke the high here got a clean close but then it ended with a huge wick retraced i'm expecting a larger range to be honest at this point what i'm looking for is i'm looking for a large momentum up nice flag or a break and retest or i'm looking for maybe that we get a v reversal then we get a range then we push down get a flag that is possible also um nothing really high probability about this price action so just looking for the price to clean up give me that nice trend nice momentum and move away from the current range that's about it aj was the japanese yen we have a reversal from a descending so right here we do have a descending structure now one thing i know reversals don't really tend to work out on aj they are not at high probability i do like this momentum up so that is good but we got a huge wick on top so i'm to be honest i'm not looking for an entry like this because as i said reversals don't really tend to work out i'm being more careful with this price action so maybe if we got like a flat range right here and then we got a flag i would consider it but not really sure uh, it all depends how the price action forms i need to see a perfect setup but if i see any warning signs i'm out i just i'm, I'm just not taking it what i would like to see is a push up clean close break and retest that would be high probability or a push up nice flag or break and retest further up so i just want to see momentum continue up then i would be looking to buy if we do reverse we can get a v we can get a range get a push down get a flag to sell short um i'm expecting a larger range here because of the huge wick so i'm expecting this because of this huge wick uh that's about it that's about it for aj nothing more to say the only thing going for this is this large momentum up this large impulse the descending was okay but then again reversals don't really work out moving on uh pound so gu i see nothing currently i want to see that large momentum so right here there was an opportunity to enter on a trade maybe on a short trade on this inside bar right here on this level maybe some people were seeing the clean close for me personally the prior momentum was not enough i wanted to see a larger push the only thing i want to see on this pair is a large large impulse and then a continuation or a really really clean flag so what do i mean by that i mean a large impulse and then a break and retest with a clean close or a large impulse and then a nice tight clean flag those are the only two setups I'm happy to take on GU because I need to see conviction, I need to see large momentum. Currently I'm not seeing anything, I'm just seeing that we broke the low retraced, broke the low retraced again, broke the high retraced now, leaving huge wicks up, left the wick down, so eh, kind of volatile price action, not showing me anything. The new pair NJ New Zealand Japanese Yen, for this one, I'm seeing that it's stuck in a range so we have an ascending going into a descending structure as we can see here we do know that the nj pair likes to move in the ranges so it likes to move like this from an ascending into a descending but then again we need to see cleaner price action we need to see conviction we need to see clean closes so for me personally i'm seeing lots of wicks everywhere which is a bad sign we want to see it clean up a bit um, and so we did break the low retrace we now broke the high got 
sort of a clean close but then we got the wick here not really showing me anything to be honest what i'm looking for is i'm looking for this to continue maybe for a nice break and retest or for it to continue give me a nice flag but do be careful if you start to ascend then you know that it's just gonna be more range bond price action or i'm seeing if maybe we get the v v reversal push down flag that's sort of a pattern so yeah we will see what happens currently i want to see it clean up that is it for the forecast i'll see you guys tomorrow um yeah this week has had some nice opportunities for everyone who who got involved congratulations and we will see how the rest of the month goes uh so that is it and i will see you guys tomorrow